All right, guys, stop number three here in the Eastern Shore. The north part of the Eastern Shore, uh, just a little south of Maryland, facing the uh, Atlantic Ocean, and visiting Wharton Place, built by John Wharton, 1798. And yeah, this looks like a pretty good one. And um, yeah, pretty pretty big garden. So it looks like there's a line to go in and take the house tour. So go check this place out. Okay, just took the house tour, no filming inside. Um, yeah, it was pretty nice in there, pretty uh, pretty nice mantles around the chimney. Uh, they had a pretty neat chandelier that was controlled with a pulley system to raise it up and down. I had never seen that. And there was kind of a partial flying stairwell. So, and uh, kitchen here on, on the left. And one interesting thing, this house, the corners of this house are compass points. So each corner is direct west, east, north and so forth and possibly because he was a uh, sailor john wharton and to let you know this thing it was completed 1805 uh, work began uh, 1798 um hip roof and all like i say all these houses uh overlooking the water all seem to have the catwalk up top and two central uh, fireplaces and one thing that might surprise you you would think this would be your typical four over four uh pattern but there's actually no central passage it, it, it looks like there would be but um yeah, this is uh, definitely a nice one. And uh, I'll walk through the gardens back here and uh, a little cemetery over here. Okay, I'll also let you know John Wharton died unexpectedly, 1814. The house was uh, passed on to his wife. She died 1831. And then eventually the Bush family ended up owning the house. Pretty interesting. And here's John's grave. Yeah, died 1814. He died up in Philadelphia, was brought down here to be interred. There's his wife, Elizabeth. Quick walk through the back garden, and it uh, looks like there's a trail that goes down to the creek. I'll uh, walk down here, take a look at the water. And you can see maybe they kind of had some terraces at one time. I don't know, it's uh, hard to say. Mm. Some inlets out here. Let's take a quick walk around. Uh, tell you a little bit about John Wharton. He was a member of the House of Delegates, uh, of course, representing Acoma County. And uh, they say he was a, possibly a privateer, but he, he was a wealthy merchant. It's just a lot of inlets uh, going through this marsh. No guests beyond this point.
shed tucked down here. Just gonna take a quick walk through the gardens. Oh, I'll also tell you that originally John Warden had owned all of the land, the northern part of the eastern shore from the Atlantic to the Chesapeake. So, and uh, it's dwindled down to a hundred acres now, the current owner has in possession. A lot of snowballs out here. I'm seeing some outhouses over there. I'll walk over and take a look at them. Oh wow, they've got all this planted as well, all along the exit. A couple of outbuildings, uh, that was most likely the smokehouse. And I know there were some slave dwellings further out on the property, I don't think they still stand and some sort of, not a corn crib, but just some little barn. All right, I think that's gonna wrap it up for Wharton Place. Um, now time for the long drive back to Fredericksburg. So as always, like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram and support me on Patreon. See ya.